So you started what uh, what is known to be the uh, the museum of failures. Yeah. Uh, seriously, I mean, what were you thinking when you started this? <laughs> yeah, good question. Um, I mean, my my whole idea behind starting the museum of failure uh -huh. was to find a new format to communicate research findings and to stimulate interest in in the organizational research right. uh, about accepting failure. Um, <clears throat> I was looking, should I do a talk, should I write a book, should I do a seminar? I was like, ah, it's all been done before. Mm -hmm. mm, and I was like, maybe you know, a physical, real physical exhibit right. uh, would be an interesting way to go. So I started Museum of Failure uh, specifically to stimulate discussion about failure in organizations. All right. I'm just curious, uh, Dr. West, is there anything that happened to you in your personal life that <laughs> moved you to start collecting a bunch of failures and to put them in a museum for public consumption? Are you fishing for like my personal failures a here? Little, is that what not, you're doing? <laughs> but is there anything that moved you to think along those lines? Because you got to admit, this is not something that a normal man would think of. You know, to start a collection of failures. Yeah, okay. Usually, we start a collection of successes, innovation, and things like that for the for the world to see. But you, on the other hand, went the opposite direction. Yeah. What was the thing that moved you to move in that direction? Uh, incriminating question, but um. <laughs> I mean, I, I I do like to do things a little bit differently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, I, I play by the rules, but then just sort of approach things just with a little bit of a different twist or perspective. Right. Um, and I, I was seriously bored with the traditional means of communication. Right. So I thought it was exciting. Mm. Um, and it was kind of fun uh, starting Museum of Failure because mm. I was like, am I afraid of failure? No, because no one has done it before. I've never opened a museum before. Mm. And it was just so stimulating to, be, to, to, to work with that. But I mean, what happened? I mean, if there's anything, I can blame it on my parents. It's their fault. Okay. They screwed me it's up. It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me, uh, did you get any kind of a strange or, or typical uh, um, uh, responses from your friends? Your closest the buddies and say, Samuel, what are you thinking? Really, do? Yeah. Did you get any kind of uh, anything like that? I, I remember. <clears throat> I remember when I first got the idea, mm. um, my wife, I told my wife was the first one I told, and she's so used to all of my stupid ideas. Stupid ideas. Mm -hmm. You know, 99% are just absolutely ridiculous. Um, so she, I remember her, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Like okay. she just sort of. It's one of those things. Yeah, it yeah. is one of those. Um, <clears throat> and then when I didn't give up and I started telling my friends and people I did business with, uh, their initial reaction was, um, yeah, that's cute, okay. Mm. Like, there was, they didn't quite understand what it was. Mm. And it wasn't until I actually started uh, buying physical objects and saying, mm. I'm doing this, mm. uh, that people started realizing, okay, he's serious. Mm. Um, so it was difficult in the beginning sure. um, um, that people didn't grasp the concept. Mm. Um, I bet it was a lonely period of your of your journey as well when you felt like nobody's nobody quite getting gets it, it you yeah know, and I'm doing I have my a, own thing yeah. what, what got you through that phase of your life yeah it's it, you're actually one of the this is the first time I've gotten to reflect on these questions mm. um, because it was difficult to have this great idea and then try to tell people about it um, and get sort of a lukewarm reaction right. to the concept. Um, and I think what got me through that was that I just knew I had to get it done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I knew that if, if people around me didn't understand what the concept of Museum of Failure was, mm -hmm. that I had to just do it and then they will understand. Mm -hmm. um, and it turned out that once it was there, everything, I mean, people. Got it. Got it. Um, and it got easier from that point on. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's difficult. I mean, uh, this is something that anybody who has a vision mm. uh, has to struggle with. Right. If you have a vision, it doesn't matter if you're, if you're, if you're a leader in, in an organization or in any aspect of life where you have a vision and you mm. want to in, sort of encourage and, 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 and make people enthusiastic about right. your, your, yeah, your vision. You have to sell your idea. That's right. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and get people enthusiastic about it.